We'll throw some of our stuff in the workbench and then we'll get to work on going into the village. All right. There we are. Let's throw the meat. Keep the lantern in there just in case. We can throw the antidote in there. And we still don't have any, like... Hmm. We still don't have much in the way of anything. Huh. Well, that's fine. Let's go ahead and jump into that hole before we run out of time. Zoom! Down we go. To the village. Let's see how this place is doing now. Oh, hey! Someone's inside the hole. Alright, that's still the same. Hey, guys. How you guys doing? It's me. I wonder if they know. I wonder if they know that I'm the one who was parsh who was mostly responsible for this. I wonder if they know. I wonder if they figured it out. Let's see if there's anything out front. If they expected me to come through here. Hmm. Let's check just up here a little bit. We're not going to leave, but I'm just going to see if there's anything up here near the entrance. Hmm. Doesn't look like it. No, that's just back into the woods. Alright. That house down there was vacant. I haven't gone through the, this field here. Curious. Oh, hey, it's a guy. Hey, guy. How you doing? Planting? Who are you? I'm Mark. Get away from me. Okay, I'll leave you alone. I see you're not in a friendly mood, and I will respect your wishes. Okay, I guess these guys must be maintaining this farm. Guess that must be what's going on. I mean, they have that many potatoes, they gotta be getting it from somewhere. Alright, I don't see anything different here so far. But then again, maybe maybe the dis the despair hasn't fell in yet. Hmm. I, I don't think I looked in here before. This must be the butcher shop. There's the generators. No reason to mess with them. I'll have to look in these buildings, see if there's anything here. Open up that door. Get on the floor. Everybody do the dinosaur. I don't have I don't have a code for that. Anything in the bed? A map! The pig shed! I've already been there. But you know what? Let's check. Let's check. Madman Scribbles 2. 73. Is there a Madman Scribbles 1? Because that would be a... Uh... Hmm. No, it doesn't look like it. If we find another Madman Scribbles, we might be able to get the code. So that's a 73. Let's see. Any of these other ones have it? Invitation. Blah, blah, blah. Doctor's instructions, blah, blah, blah. Photo, blah, blah, blah. Doctor's instructions, too. Nope. Ration stamps, nope. Note. Nope, no numbers. The code, oh, that's not the one. All right. Okay. Hmm. All right, well, I guess nothing's there. I guess we don't have the code yet. Maybe we'll give it a good look around and we'll find it? I don't know. Hmm. All we know is that ends with 73. You know what? Just for the heck of it, let's try 1973. Let's try 1973. See if that gives us anything. Wrong code. Should have figured. Should have figured. Well, we'll have to keep our eyes open then, huh? Hey, a rope. Nice. Anybody home? What now? Anybody home? Get the fuck away from my home. All right, they're locked. There is no more meat. All right. The sow is starving. Oh, no. She gives no pigs. Well, she's certainly not going to give any more. Get, or I'll let Antic loose. All right, whoever Antic is. All right, it looks like it hasn't gotten to them yet, the fact the sow is dead. I suppose I should have given him a day. Maybe that was what I should have done. I should have given him a day. But heck, while we're here... Are there any places that I didn't loot? I, I may have missed a spot. I got a feeling that there was probably some stuff in the chicken lady's house that I didn't grab. That's at least what my gut instincts are telling me, you know. They're like, Mark! You probably missed some stuff because you ran out of inventory room. 
Check the houses. Oh, hey, some mushrooms. Nice. Grab those. Anything in here? Nope. Anything in here? Nope. Does this go anywhere? Nope. Okay, let's go ahead and move. That guy's still there. Hmm. Anything in the wardrobe? Potatoes? Dead rat. You can cook that up. Got some ingredients here. Have, we're gonna be a chef with all this stuff. Have I been in this house before? I don't think so. Can't climb through that window, though. Hmm. Huh, I don't think I've been in that house. Let's go ahead and check out front. First. Hmm. Anybody home? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and see what's going on in here. A couple doors open. Let's check this one first. Wooden door. Locked. Do I have a key? I don't have any keys. Okay. What about this, baby? Locked. But you know what? I, I can jump through the window. Let's see what's going on in here. What kind of crazy nonsense is going on inside this house? Tell you what, you better not be hiding valuables. If you are, I'll find out. In fact, I'm finding it out right now. Hey, guy. Don't mind me. I'm just some guy who broke into your house. That's why you gotta have an actual window that can't be opened from outside. That That's one thing that I'm kind of terrified of in, in real life. I'm afraid someone's gonna, like, break down... Somebody's gonna come into my window or, or break into my house because somebody in my household forgot to close the door. I, I know my mom. She 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 grew up in a in a uh, rural area. Spent a lot of time in a rural area, and now she thinks that it's completely safe to uh, leave your door unlocked in the middle of a rather large town. And of course, me being my paranoid self, I'm like, no, don't do that. Don't leave the door open. Someone's gonna break into our house and steal all of our stuff. Hey, woman, I don't remember you being there. Stares at the ground with a look. Oh, it's a doll. Didn't we have another doll like that in the past? She stares at the ground with a dead look. Alright. Burnt down house. Kill the pig. What? Kill the pig. Well, I got good news for you. I got good news for you. It hasn't hit you yet. But I already did that. You guys don't know, but, you know, it's done. Deed's done. Don't worry about it. It's all done. Here's the one guy's house. Yeah, one crazy guy's house. I bet I forgot some stuff in there. That's what I bet. I I'd bet a lot on it. Probably something good in here. I know I have a tendency to leave good stuff on. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Wardrobe. Wardrobe. Hmm. I may have actually cleaned this place out. Shelf, empty. Chair, empty. Gun, loaded. Locked. Alright, I think we got everything important that was in here. Unless, of course, is there a note on the ground? No, of course not. That'd be, that'd be too convenient. Need to find the other madman's ravings. So that way we can find whatever is in that box. I want the box. You need to know what's in the box. It's like that movie, Seven. Remember that? You know, they're at the end of the movie and they're like, what's in the box? And you're like, why don't you find out, detective? I think one of the weird things about that movie is that, uh... What was his name? Kevin Spacey thinks that it was his favorite per performance. Which I personally disagree with. I understand that he can like whatever experiences he likes to film. However, I would argue that his best performance was in The Usual Subspects, where he was playing uh, Verbal Kint, or whatever his name was. Hey there, chicken lady! What do you need, poor soul? Hungry, eh? I'll give you some stew. What would the good wit do, Lord Almighty? Alright, I killed the cow at least, so I guess you and your chickens are the only givers of food. Poor Hanushka has lost her mind. The fella knocked her up with this abomination. Even the mongrels tuck their tails. 
I won't let them butcher me hands. Me hands. They come for me. I won't let them. All right. Let's see. Did you have any valuables? I'm sure you had more that I didn't get. I'm sure of it. I'm sure that I missed something here. Hey, alcohol. I need that for bandages. Nice. What am I going to leave here in exchange? Nails. I'll leave the nails. Close that. Can I open this? Can I use the key? Nope. Alright, I don't know what's going on in there. But I got a feeling there's more stuff around here I didn't find. Oh, hey, some gasoline. Nice. Fill her up. 9-volt battery. Don't have enough room for it. But it's worth... Hmm. Potatoes worth 15. Two potatoes is worth 15. Uh, bread is worth 15. 9-volt battery is worth more than bread. We'll leave the bread. Ruin. Ruins of the old hen house structure. Wire. We could use some wire. Let's throw away the old bandages. Ruin. Nails. Boards. Do we have any boards with us? No, we do not. Wooden door. Hmm. Maybe there isn't quite as much as I remember missing as I think I did. Maybe. I bet there's stuff down in that house that I missed. Because I remember finding here, I found like some dog tags or something on this shelf. And it had like a number on it. And I, and I have a feeling in my gut that there is something important here that that number will unlock. Hey, another rope. We need that. Okay. Okay. I hope I'm not just wasting my time, and by extension, everyone who's watching this is time. Boy, oh boy, if you guys are still watching this, you're a trooper. You're a trooper. I got nothing but respect for you. Oh, hey there. Nice to see you again. I see that you haven't moved. Whoa, jeez, oh, Pete's. No need to cook, kick down the door, man. Calm down. I know I pressed shift while doing that, but I didn't mean to kick down the door. Calm down. Calm down. It's not the end of the world. Jeez, oh, Pete's. All right, is there anything out here? I don't... There's that house there. I've been in there. All right. I think we have a decisive answer to what happened here during... I think we have a decisive uh, answer of what happened here during, after the pig died. And that answer is absolutely nothing because the game hasn't realized that the pig is dead. Or maybe it's because I came through the wrong way. Who knows? We'll try it again tomorrow morning. We'll, we'll come back and we'll visit and we'll be like, oh hey! We're back! Did you guys hear that the pig's dead? I don't see a lot of changes in the house. Let's get a drink for some of that sweet, sweet healing juice. I've also got this one-shot pistol. Wonder how much damage it does. I mean, almost definitely more than the regular pistol, but hey, I don't know how much. Like, it says it does powerful weapon, but I don't know how powerful powerful is. Is that like a one-hit kill, or is it like a uh, knockdown weapon? Jeez, oh, Pete's, I got tons of junk in my in my inventory. Let's go ahead and cook. Go ahead and do some cooking. Man, does my crafting table show that I'm a uh, hoarder? Is this what this uh, mess of a workbench shows you? That I am a massive hoarder? Throw that in there, throw that in there, in there. Oh, jeez, oh, Pete's, I don't have any place to put the batteries. Okay, can I go ahead and make some? I have bandages, I don't need to make any more. Okay, I can't really throw the gasoline in there. Okay. We're gonna go ahead, throw the logs in here. Throw the logs in there, and we'll... I guess we'll just have to put the other stuff somewhere inside the house. Ugh. Hmm. Can't help but feel that... You know, we got a good bit of stuff done. Got a good bit of stuff done. We did... You know, I think the problem was is that we came and investigated the place on the same night that... We caused the change. I think that's what happened there. Oh, hey, scrap metal and molotovs. Nice, didn't realize those were in there. I swear I have ropes in there. I, I, I'm almost sure of it that I have ropes in that crafting table. Get, get in there, ropes. Oh. You know what? We're going to have to sell... We're going to have to sell these staffs. The staffs and the knives have got to go. The staff and the knives. They got to go. They're taking up too much space. I want to be inside my house, not outside of it. Jeez, oh, Pete's. Jeez, oh, Pete's. 
Why has everything got to be so complicated? Am I the only one doing work in this household? I swear it's madness in here. It's madness. Furniture all over the dang place. It's like I I'm the only one that cleans up around here. You guys never do anything for this house. I gotta move the furniture. I gotta make the barricades. I gotta, I gotta move this bathtub in the way of the thing. I'm the one doing all the work in this household. And what have those guys done? All they've done is come into my house and break my doors. I hate it. They don't deserve to... What was that? I, I heard like a metal sound, I think. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. I don't know. We're going in for the night. Going in for the night. I gotta think of conversational topics. Because I used up a lot of conversational topics while we were going through the uh, village and nothing was happening. I'm tempted to edit that out, but I also think it was part of the experience of this Let's Play. And occasionally, a little a little bit of frustration. It's good. Okay, here they come. Because as I was saying, I, I'm hearing a lot of noises. Sounds like we got a big one coming. Anybody back there? Somebody's going to break down that door. They do every time. We should move this lamp down so that way it isn't shining as much. Well, shining into that window as much. Stay away from the knights and don't make a lot of noise. That's how you that's how you avoid getting spotted by them. But of course, we got so many lights in here that they're going to see us pretty much no matter what. But hey, I'm always ready to party. Might as well use this pistol at some point. It's only worth 50. It's not worth selling. Might as well use it on an enemy. Ain't got nothing better to do with it. Footsteps. Okay, there they are. I heard fighting sounds. Okay, there we are. There we are. Come on, bud. Come on in. I'll give you. I, I'll smack you around a bit. Come on, boy. All right, all right. We've done this a thousand times. Let's get on with it. This isn't our first time. Let's get on with it. Let's get this done with. I got plans for tonight, boy. All right, thank you very much. Now let's 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 barricade that up. There we are, much better. All right, give me that, give me that. Now let's throw these in there, and we'll sort them out in the morning. All right. Now there's usually two, sometimes three of them every night. So the question is, is there less of them? Or are they running around somewhere? That's the question. Where's my pistol? Is it in my inventory? It is. I only have the single shot equipped, though. Boy, oh boy, sure is, sure is bright right in here. No wonder we're getting attacked. There's so much gosh dang light in here. Alright, I know that, boys. Okay, looks like it's, it's, it's night fright time. But I've got a lantern. You can't get me if I've got a lantern, and I'm in between two lamps. There we are. Perfectly fine. Get on my level. I got a plan for everything. They call a master mark. I have a. I'm. I'm the plan man. That's what I do. Hmm. Looks like an awful lot of lights got knocked out. I wonder if it's three lights or is it just always one or two of the lamps? Because if it's always consistently three, there's a good chance that one of these lights will go out and I'll be stuck in the dark. And that's not how I want things to go. Getting stuck in the dark with the with the spirits out, that's not a good thing, you know. That's like that's like a name for the horror for a horror movie, you know. Stuck in the stuck in the spooky ghost dark. You know, of course you'd have to run it by some like directors and executives and producers and advertising people. And it probably wouldn't be the same name after they're done changing it. But hey, it, it could be. Alright. What? I saw that. I'm not going out there. No. Come to me. Oh, no. No. I'm not going... No. No. 
I'm not gonna do it. No. I'm tempted, but no. Common sense dictates that you're a trap. You know? And tell you what, traps, they may not be gay, but they're dangerous. Yeah, watch out for them. You never know. You never know. That might be the first controversial thing I've said on this on this, <laughs> this let's play. Okay. Alright, looks like it's daytime now. Alright. Day 10. Day 10. Gained reputation. Oh hey, it's got that funky look again. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to our buddy out there. Um... Now let's also swap out our stuff while we're now that it's more calm. Give me that. And give me that. There we are. Alright, I think we're going to try and sell him all of our staffs. Because we've got way too many of them. We've got too much staff in here. It's taken up all of our inventory space. Staffs for bullets. Like, jeez, oh, Pete's. Look at these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of them. Jeez, oh, Pete's. You better have a lot of... <laughs> okay, take, take these things. Take them. I don't need this many. Got any bullets? Scrap metal. I need that. Got any books? Got a small caliber magazine? Nice. Okay. I think we can afford to get the uh, fabric if we just keep on giving them staffs. Maybe. Maybe we could. Maybe not. Alright, let's see. Where the heck at? Where the heck is it? Get, grab the pitchfork and sell it. Why not? Can I repair it? No, I can't. Well, I can, but I'm not going to. Can I upgrade it? I can, but I don't want to. Okay. I'm going to sell it. Why not? Let's grab some more staffs, throw the scrap metal in there, throw the rags in there, throw the rope in there. Small caliber magazine. Okay, we're going to throw the extra one in there, it's just that way we don't lose it. We also got the shiny stone I forgot to sell. A drawing made by the that guy. Some pills. We've got a whole bunch of bottles. A ton. Let's sell the knives. Oh hey, another staff. Sell the knives. Gosh dang, I got so many staffs. Where do I even get the- Oh yeah, that's right. I get them from all of the enemies. Alright, let's trade. Let's trade, guy. You want these staffs? These knives? All this stuff? I got so many of them. It's ridiculous. No room in container. Except. He doesn't have enough room in his inventory. <clears throat> I guess that means that we have to give him more stuff. Except he doesn't have enough room in his inventory. I don't want them. Take them. Take them! I don't want all these staffs! Get them away from me! Jeez, oh Pete. Ah, uh, <laughs> he doesn't have enough room! Okay, I, uh, don't make me take back my staff for twice the price. Don't be ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. Odd looking mushroom. Gasoline. I've been reading the comments, and you guys have said that gasoline in the late game... Oh no, Skype, go away. But you guys have said in the late game it's kind of hard to get gasoline, so we might as well invest in some. Please, take my garbage. Thank gosh, we finally got rid of it. Oh, but, I, but we've got like half... we still got like half these staffs. Let's just throw them back in, whatever, it doesn't matter. Gasoline, gasoline, got so much crap. Get rid of it. Can I make a inventory upgrade? I can. Let's do it. Inventory. Yeah. More stuff. More more garbage I don't need. Clogging up my life. All right, let's go ahead and repair my shovel because it's near dead. And all right, looks like it's all fixed. Okay. Speaking of all fixed, you know what? You know what's kind of like fixed? You know what you say when when you're fixed when you're done fixing the something? Done. You know what <laughs> you know what else is done this episode? Oh boy, that's definitely a bad segue. Okay. Thanks for watching everyone. I've been Master Mark. If you guys like this video, feel free to like it. If you have any comments, suggestions, jokes, feel free to put them down below. All in all, thanks for watching. If you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time. Bye!